And welcome to Palatine High School for the opening night of Pirate Hoops. It's the Palatine Pirates and the Glenbrook South Titans in a matchup in the Adam Alter Thanksgiving Tournament. Christian, what are the keys to the game today? Uh, for Palatine, they got to start off hot. They can't come out lacking energy, but for uh, GBN, they just got to keep what they've been doing. Last year, they had an overall record of 25-9 and with their most impressive win coming from Round Lake, 90-17. to So... Should be a great game. I'm excited for it and looking forward to it. Well, we're going to bring you the action here today. Starting in about 45 seconds, we'll get you right back to the uh, court for the starting lineups. As we wait, we expect sophomore Tony Balaganayi to get his first start today for the Pirates. Football player as well. He's 6'4". As for Glenbrook South, key to look out for is Nick Taylor, number four, the 6'7 forward. He is their superstar. I believe he's a D1 commit too, correct? Yep. So here we go for the national anthem. We're just about to get underway here. It is jersey night here in the PHS gym. Me and Christian, we got our Bulls jerseys on, as you can look in the student section. I see a bunch I of different Evan's uh, rocking that DeMar DeRozan jersey right now. Oh, yeah. Just looking out there, we see some Heat, Sixers. Dominic's got his Chief sweatshirt on, that makes sense. They're playing tonight. We'll give you some updates if you choose to watch this game over Monday Night Football. May and Taylor will tip it off. And Pirate Hoops is underway. Elter collects the tip, and here's Monroe. May.
Elter. Balaganayi. Up and in, and the Pirates score first. That was a tough layup right there by the sophomore Tony Balanganayi. First varsity basket. That's a good start for Tony. And it looks like Palatine's coming with a half court press, applying pressure from the start. That's tipped away by Monroe. Active hands, that's gonna be huge during this game. Getting your hands in the passing lane. Exactly. Casher. It's a fuller. It comes off of Casey May's foot. I think GBN's gonna try to get it to their star, Nick Taylor, here on the first oh. possession to set a tone. Well, Tony's been marking him so far, but do not be surprised to see Connor May shadow him as well. It's like Palatine's coming out in a zone look right now. Elter guarding Fuller. Risky pass. Tipped again by Elter. Haji Samoli will try a deep three, and it's good. Ooh, that was a nice shot right there. Like you said, very deep. And drills it. Long possession there for the Titans as they get their first bucket. Here's May for three. Short. Rebound, Casher. That's a good look for Connor May right there. Casher. Balaganayi with the steal. Rookies. First of the season. Here's May. Elter trying to get to Balaganayi again. He's got Taylor on him. Puts it up and in. Oh, it's a simple game. It's a simple game. First four points coming from Tony Balaganayi. Feed the big man. That's sophomore off a great start, yeah. Trap press and blocking foul on Monroe. Monroe hit the deck hard yeah. there. Bench and student section didn't like that. Ryan Kick voicing his frustration. The fans are excited. Everyone's excited to see the uh, Palatine basketball back again. Ajiskamolu. Casher for three. This one's long. Casey May tries to get it. He doesn't. It's blocked from behind, and a foul is called. Dan Devine right there just ripped that rebound straight from Casey May, leading to second chance points and a chance at the foul line. It's the friendly roll. Now, Emmett, let me ask you. GBN, all their players are back here. Is that for a reason, or is that just how they're running it? Yeah, it's interesting. They're conceding the board here as Belenganayi gets it. I did not notice that at the start. It's pretty clear. Interesting strategy. Monroe. Here's May. Define on him. It is a size mismatch. Belenganayi. Monroe. Tries to take it to the basket. Doesn't get the bounce. Rebound, Hajistamolu. And it's going to be a foul on Elter. Physical press so far for Palatine. It's resulted in two fouls. It looks like the key to success so far for Palatine has been feeding the big man down in the post. Tony Belong and I he has been their only source of offense, and I want to see if they keep feeding him. Yes, but you also like to get Connor May into the game as well. Certainly. Absolutely. Here's Taylor. Missed the layup, and it's going to stay. Looked like it was off of Casey May. The student section did not like that call. Hubbard into Casher. Here's Hubbard. Ajisumulu had the three-pointer earlier. Taylor down low, loses a handle, and it's out for Palatine basketball. That's great defense right there by the Pirates. Everybody closing in in the paint, forcing a turnover. 
It's a good start defensively for Palatine so far. Same with GBN. I mean, they've both been held to four points. And that somehow makes its way to May, and he's on the score sheet. Hit the weight room. Connor May. And here's that full court press again for the Pirates. Casher. A lot of standing around here for the Titans. Now Taylor, their star, gets it. Hubbard. Ajistamolu calling out for some play here. No shot clock, so they can take their time. Ajistamolu, pull up Jay. Long. Rebound, Tony B. It seemed Ajistamolu tried to get up a set up a pick and roll right there, but it just was not open. Here's Casey May. And that's gonna be a foul. Reach in. On Ajista Molu. Three forty four to go here in the first. Low scoring affair so far. Yeah. The last game we saw Stevenson versus Hersey, that was a 60 to 60 game. Can't remember the exact final score, but it was high scoring. May, out to Elter for three. It's long. And rebound Hubbard for the Titans. And that's another good look for Palatine. You just gotta start hitting those and drilling them. They need to pull away here to really give themselves a good chance in this game against a superior opponent. Hubbard, Ajistamolu. Casher gets tries to get the roll and he doesn't. Rebound Elter, he'll take it himself. Palatine caught a break right there. They left a wide open baseline just off the target. Here's May baseline. And there you go. You gotta feed your superstar. That's your score right there. There's a trap. Just swings it out to Taylor, who's got Casey May on him. Taylor, and he gets his first bucket. Right, and that's what GBN needs to do. They need to be fe uh, feeding Nick Taylor, their 6'7 guard. Monroe looking at take himself, spinning, and this could be a travel. Yeah. Put it on the ground again. Looks like Gibson Now Gibson right the Dell's gonna, yeah. Gibby is on for Casey May. So Palatine's going a little smaller right here. Two small guards in Connor Monroe and Gibby Lindell. Still with the full court press. Patrick Benedict is also on for Glenbrook South. Number zero. Here's Taylor. Hubbard. Benedict. To Taylor, driving baseline, he gets it in. That was a great pass. There was really ro no room for error right there. And they got it done to Nick Taylor for a, an easy two. Monroe, spinning, puts it up, and scores! Oh my gosh. Sir, your laundry is done. That was an amazing spin move right there. Create an open shot for Connor Monroe. That's a difficult pass there from the full court press. Laganese has his hands on it and they're gonna call a foul on him. Very aggressive so far for the Pirates. Yeah, I believe that's their third foul of the quarter. Andy now, Eliopoulos. Yeah. Andy Eliopoulos is on. Monroe comes off. Still a smaller package for Palatine. Palatine, a team not with much size. Casher, Taylor, he's got a mismatch, misses, gets his own board, puts it up and back in. I love to see Gibby Lindell getting in there, though. He's an undersized guard playing defense against a 6'7 Zach Taylor and forcing a miss. We just got to get and come up with that second uh, rebound. Excuse me. Here's a three for May. Off the glass and in. The bank is open. 
Seven for May in the first. And Taylor takes it himself, misses, and a foul. It looks like Connor May kind of pushed his hand going yeah, up. Yeah, well after the shot, too. Student session can't believe it. And Taylor goes to the line. One thing that I've noticed is Palatine is late to switch to when Taylor is making a baseline run. They need to get a big body on him. You can't have Gibson Lindell, who's actually going to come off now here for DJ Dick. Yeah, I think Palatine's getting caught up in their zone and letting people sneak by them, which cannot happen. And he gets the rebound. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Iliopoulos, Casey May, Elter. Wide open, DJ Dick. Yep. I'd like to see him shoot that. Have some confidence in your shot. I know you're a sophomore, but you're up here for a reason. Three seconds, Elter trying to do it himself. Doesn't get the bounce, and that's the end of the first. 13-11, it's a good start for the Pirates. Both teams playing tremendous defense on the early going. And the big start so far for Connor Mace, he's got seven points. Tony Belaganayi in his first start has four points and two rebounds. He's also a good start as well. The two big guys for Palatine. Yeah, Palatine's just sticking to what works. Feed your star, and when it's not open, feed the big man. And this for Glenbrook South, their superstar Nick Taylor, number four, has got nine points. He's been the entire team, and he scored nine of 11. Now we're back for the second quarter. Gistamolu, Kasher. Taylor was calling for it. Kasher, another deep three. Short. Rebound, Elter. It looks like Kasher and Taylor. Dick. The only offense. May thought about the three. Heliopolis. There's Dick. May, slower possession here for the Pirates. May will try a three. Rattles out. That shot is good. Hudson Fuller, finally a, a basket other than Nick Taylor. It seemed like he was doing all the offensive load by himself. Elter to May. Great pass, great find, and it's another point for Connor May. That was great vision right there by Tommy Elter. Connor May just kind of slipped underneath the defense and got wide open for an easy two. That's a lot of the offense you saw from last year. Just May just kind of does what he wants in the paint, and if you can find a pass, he'll score it for you. Gistamolu. Taylor. Hajistamolu, long three. And that one is long as well. And if I'm GBS right now, I I want to be looking for more 
quality shots. A couple of threes they've taken have been way far. I like to see just the quality position out of them. Elter. Dick. Casey May. Tries to get it into Connor May and. Good defense. That's going to be tightened basketball. Divine with the deflection right there. Great defense on Connor May. Forcing a turnover. Casher. To Fuller. And now Taylor. Fuller for three. Off. May with another rebound. That was a great rebound right there. Monroe back on the court for the Pirates. Casey May. So Connor May, and we have a foul, and that's on Glenbrook South. Number 14. It's a simple game, Connor though. May. Yeah. You see Connor May in the post, beat him down low. He's going to get fouled, or he's going to get an easy two. They have a mishmash right there. Well, now they don't. They're checking in. Um, yeah. Divine subs out. Benedict. Yeah, he left. 6'6 six, six forward. Divine with the second foul. Here's May. Monroe. He's going to take it himself. Off the glass, gets the roll. Yeah, that was a great move. Hesitation right there by Monroe. Reggie Stumolu finds Fuller, and we're going to have a foul on Monroe. And that's Carter Monroe's second. Elter checks back in for the Pirates. Same with uh, Gibby Lindell for Carter Monroe. Some serviceable minutes out there for Monroe. And this is a younger Palatine team. A bunch of people starting right now, with the exception of two, are in their junior sophomore year. Casher. Benedict. And it's waved off, and it's a travel. Oh, you better pack a suitcase with that one, buddy. It was Connor calling out for Tommy. <laughs> he took it up the court. Connor May got Benedict on him and another foul. I mean, what do you think about Connor May's shoes selection? I like it. I mean, it's kind of a fashion show, these basketball games, and you got to show off what you have. I know, they're nice and flashy. Yeah. He stands out I mean, if as if he didn't already. If you're the best player on the court. I think you deserve to wear them. Yeah. Zelter. Zelter. And a push. Another foul on the Titans. That's three in this possession for the Pirates. Allen Hudson Fuller. Zelter. Missed the layup. Tip. Back to May. May has Taylor on him, and now out to Casey May. Lindell. Elter. Tony B's calling for it. Lindell for three. It's good. Bang, bang, bang. Great find right there. Cross court pass. Gibson Lindell knocks it down. Student section loves that. Jistamolu has a lane. Taylor is going to dunk this one. Yeah, time. Great just, baseline cut right there for Taylor. Can't lose him on the baseline. That's happened too many times so far. You got to keep an eye on him. Laganayi looking for a place to put the basketball. Takes himself, puts it up. It is blocked. He's looking for a foul, doesn't get it. 
Pachistamolu the other way. Kasher. Fuller. Stops the counterattack, and now the Titans will reset. Jay Stamulu trying to get it over May. It's long. Taylor goes for the rebound, and Casey May gets the board. That was great defense right there by Connor May. Here's Elter, who already has four assists, looking for another. Lindell looking for the bounce, and it doesn't go in. Everybody held their breath on that shot. Adisamolu and another oh dunk goodness. to Taylor. Showtime Titans. You just can't lose him on defense. No, you can't, but that was a great transition by the Titans. And it's a poor pass from Balaganei looking for Elter. But Connor May is rallying the troops right here as GBS is on a little bit of a run. A minute 52 to go. JP Hubbard is now on the court for the Titans. Took out Fuller. Ajisto Molu driving himself, puts it up and he's fouled. And they'll go to the line for two. That's on Tony Balaganayi, he has two. Again, another interesting strategy here for the Titans. They have one guy at the line, everybody else is Waiting back on defense. And they've yet to drain both free throws. Which makes you think if you're not going to make both, might as well have someone grab the rebound for a second chance opportunity. Dick. Lindell. Tony B. Here's Casey May. And a legal oh. screen right there. Trying to set up a pick and roll. And Tony was just moving, I think. Again, Palatine's going small, and they're gonna check Tony out with his third foul of the game. Tony plays with an aggressive attitude. As we know, he's a football kid, very physical, but he needs to watch the way he's playing. Three fouls in the first half is not a recipe for success. He's been one of the main scorers for the Pirates, too. Someone they can't afford to lose. Offensive foul. Dan Devine with an illegal screen. It looked like Devine's gonna check out after that one. And then bring in Patrick Benedict. Bit of a scoring drought here for the Pirates. May will try a three. It's off. Kasher with the rebound, he'll take it up quickly. Taylor takes it himself, and one. GBS is running. They're going in transition. They're getting these easy layups, easy dunks, because they're running as a team. Palatine needs to get back defensively in order to cover that. I mean, it's free every time. And with that, the Titans take the lead, 21 to 20. First lead for them since three to two. And I wonder if Palatine tries to get a long possession here to drain the clock. Maybe hold for the last shot, because as we know, high school does not have a shot clock. It looks like that's what they're going to do. He's just holding it. Out, 14 to go. Defense! 
five seconds. Trying to get it to May and out of bounds. Stop it with 2.6. They'll have an inbound here. I'm curious if they're gonna try to set a screen for someone up top for a three or maybe cut down low for an easy yeah. lay. Needs to be a quick cut. Looks like Tommy Elter's taking the inbound, so they're gonna get it to Connor May here. It's your go-to play. Three versus two in the paint. May looking to take it himself. Doesn't get the bounce. So that was a great look and great play by Palatine. They just million dollar move, 10 cent finish right there. We're gonna go to halftime. We'll go to a quick break, run a few ads, and we'll be back in 10 minutes.
And welcome back to the Palatine High School Gymnasium. About a minute 43 to go before we get underway with the second half. What have you noticed so far, Christian? Well, like we were talking about earlier, Palatine's done a great job offensively feeding their superstar. Defensively, they're lacking. Like you said, Nick Taylor has 16 points right now. Yeah, I mean, he's been he's been getting the ball in the paint. He's been driving down the baseline. Palatine needs to do a better job at marking him. Too many times their eyes have kind of strayed away from him, and he's been able to get feeds in the paint, and he's sure fire to score on there. Two dunks. He had an alley-oop as well. Yep. As far as uh, GBS goes, the Titans, they've done an excellent job. They're on an 8-0 run right now to close out the second half, or first half, excuse me. And they're playing great defense. I mean, they keep it up. They'll win this game. As for the Pirates, Connor May was off to a hot start. He had nine in the first. Did not score at all in the second. That was part of the reason why the Titans are on a 6-0 run. Eight-o run correction. Thank you, Christian Courtney. <laughs> I'd like to see Elter get more involved in the second half. Four assists. He's been their biggest facilitator, but zero points. Yeah, that's an interesting stat line so far. I mean, with his size, you'd expect him to get on the score sheet a bit more, but so far it's been mostly Connor May and then the sophomore Tony Balaganayi, who has four points. I'm also curious to see if Palatine comes out with this full court press as well for the second half. It's be interesting with the fouls. Tony B also has three fouls. Carter Monroe has two. Yep. So that's also been a bit of a limiting factor. They've had to have a bunch of their bench guys on for most of the second. So Palatine gets the ball to start the second half. It's Connor May inbounding the ball. Starting lineup is back. Here's Carter Monroe. Elter for May. This is much better, and he missed it. Million dollar move, 10 cent finish. And he's still cold from the second quarter. That's gonna stay. That came off of Connor May. Looking for Dan Devine. Shot Just rattles out. Rebound May. Here's Balaganayi. Blocked by Taylor. Now May. Right idea, though. Balaganayi lost it again. Oh. And here comes Taylor with the slam. Another slam for Nick Taylor. I love that. His third of the game on a fast break for him. They have to have at least eight points off fast breaks right now, and that came off of a turnover from Tony. Mm. This is a foul on Devine. And I'd like to see Tony settle down a little bit. I think he's a little bit frazzled with the three fouls he has, but just go out there and play your game, big boy. <laughs> Looks like Patrick Benedict checking in for Dan Devine. So they're gonna go a bit bigger. Mate, driving into the paint. And he hits the harder shot. Oh, tough lay right there by Connor May. He is just a bucket getter. Give oh, it away, cookies. Elter. Four points in four seconds for the Pirates. Hands up defense, active hands, and now it's 20, 24 to 24. Taylor, lots of space. He's blocked, gets his own rebound high off the glass and in. You can't allow those second chance points. Tony Baloney went up vertical in order not to draw the foul, and they missed. You gotta get that, that rebound. Casey May with a shot and doesn't go in, looks to get his own rebound, ends up getting it. Connor was blocked, and it's off of his own knee. Titan basketball. Connor May looks a little frustrated right there. I think he may have thought he got fouled on the way to the ref. Nick Taylor now has 20 points.
They go for him again, another alley-oop. Connor May lost him on the back end. It's and I'll tell you, right back this to a kid four can play lead. three D1 offers, and it shows for a reason right now. 22 points in the third quarter. He's got major hops. Casey May. Elter. And a foul. Oh, reaching right there on. I'm not sure. Fuller. Fuller. Casey May. Monroe. Hunter May thought about the three. Now settles for the jumper. It's long. It's bouncing around, looking to get the rebound. And jump ball. Alternate possession goes to the Titans, so that will stay in possession of Glenbrook South. But great effort right there by Connor May. Possession. Falling on the ground. Try to create another possession for his team. Foul time again with his full court press. Jason Molu runs into Elter. And, and they're going to get a backcourt violation. Great defense right there by Tommy Elter. But he's clinching at his finger. Even worse, wow. Oh no. They got a timeout. No whistle called from one of the refs and now. I don't know about that. They changed the call. Timeout, I mean that's a huge change of momentum. It would have been turnover right there. And Dominic Ball was screaming at the top of his lungs. As well as Ryan Kick. And it almost seems like you can just get away with that. I mean. That doesn't it, seem right to me. Yeah, there's no shot clock. And if you're just allowed to keep resetting your backcourt time, it just doesn't seem like it's fair. With this two possession lead, I mean, you could hold on to the ball the rest of the quarter if they wanted to. Looks like Tommy Elter has tape on his right wrist thumb area. It looks like his right thumb, yeah. yeah. Something to keep an eye on. Rooney has four assists. Almost a steal right there. Yusumolu goes down. Travel. Travel. Oh my. Pack a suitcase with that one. I mean, Tommy Elter is everywhere. He has the stats that don't sh show up on the stat sheet, but truly make a difference during the course of a game. How can Palatine capitalize off these turnovers? One row. Oh, smooth move right there. Connor May, lots of traffic. Elter, looking to take it himself, has the matchup, and gets it to go. He's looking for a foul, but that was a great back down right there. Throws it up and gets it. It's like no struggles so far with the thumb. Well, first two points of the game right there. Loose ball, Casey May has it. Jeez. Nom, 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 nom. Hudson Fuller lost a handle on it. Connor May. Oh my goodness. Three pointer, short, rebound Casey. Doesn't get the board. Oh. Connor May just dropped that young fella. It's another chance though. It's gonna blitz right there, leave a man wide open. Taylor Rare miss. rims out. Valentine dodged the board on that one. Again, they've missed too many shots, too many good looks. Be a much different game if they've even hit half of them, but they've really only hit one or two. Yep, they've had great looks on the course of the game. Just. Laganai wants to take it himself. Jump ball. Jump ball. It's going to be ultimate possession for the Pirates. So they'll keep an inbound. And it looks like Casey May checks out for Gibby Lindell. So they're going to go small again. I'm thinking maybe to create more shots. Because Casey hasn't taken most shots. He's just... Been playing stellar defense. Monroe 
looking for a better shot, and it's short on the layup. Sunbrook South going fast. Hajistamolu went for the alley oop to Taylor, and oh it was intercepted by Alter. That one's intercepted by Benedict. Looking for Connor, Connor May, May was an inch shorter on that one as that rims out. He could have been put on a poster right there. Looking room for May, baseline. Oh, and, and one! Three the hard way. Great cut by Connor May right there to draw a foul. And just like that, Palatine ties it up with a chance to take the lead. Chance to take the lead for the first time since midway through the second. Looks like that was good. possibly a lane violation by Hubbard. Hubbard, yeah. Elter checks out. DJ Dick is in. Casher. Has Lindell on him. Great defense so far. Hubbard. Taylor. Benedict down low. Take it away. That was a great defensive possession right there from the Pirates. And can they capitalize? May needs an outlet. Finds Dick. Lindell. Back to Connor May. Laganayi looking to take it himself. He's blocked again. Benedict on the block. Oh boy. That was great defense by Benedict. Jason Muller will try a three. Air balls it long. Oh boy. Tony B tries to get it. Throws it in and Taylor has it. Taylor misses short. Rebound May. And they call a travel. He was clothesline at what? the neck and they call it a travel. Connor May's pleading this case. I mean, he better watch his, watch himself. He might get a technical, and that's what you don't want. But oh my goodness, it looked like he got slashed in the neck. That's like three to five on the streets. And Taylor was way behind him. He was nowhere near it. Casher for three. It's long. Rebound to Vine. Oh, can't let Casher happen. will try another one. Tony B gets the board, throws it right back to Taylor. And it's a foul on the courts. I'm going to give it to him before the shot so there won't be free throws. And it's been a complete scrum for the ball. It's almost like they're trying to tackle the Palatine players as they're coming down with the rebound. Yeah, it's like a dog fight right yeah. now. Tony B was pushing the back, going for that yeah. one. Still no calls. Unfortunate series of events right there. Leading to Just a moment. the fourth chance for the Titans to score. Hubbard for three, and this one's good. And that, that's just a that's just a deal breaker. I mean, that breaks your morale after the great defensive possession, and then that happens. Steve Palatine can get away to get their mojo back. Connor May got the screen from Balaganayi, and it's long. Got to get back. Here's a three-pointer. And doesn't get the bounce. Rebound, Connor May. I mean, they left Tajis Mula wide open right there. Caught another break. Palestine needs to settle down and get a good look here. Under 30 seconds to go in the third. It looks like they might hold for the last shot. As Connor May services, service, surveys, excuse me, <laughs> defense. Monroe. Reach in. On Kasher. So Coach Millstone right here is going to try to drop a play. And that's the fourth foul now on the Titans. I 
looks like GBN is going to sub in their defensive players for the last possession of the third quarter. Monroe tries to get it off the glass. Well, I'm going to need with the tip, and the buzzer is going to run out. It's two decent looks at the last. Yep. And the end of the last two quarters for the Pirates, and they find themselves down two again, going into the fourth. They started off the quarter hot, just kind of dialed down a little bit throughout the third. But um, it's been a physical game so far. Connor May now has 14 points and six rebounds, approaching the double double. Nick Taylor has 22 points for the Titans, their superstar. back for the fourth quarter. Chiefs leading the Eagles 14-7. I saw a quick look. I believe the Heat were beating the Bulls 80 to 72. Yeah, that's correct by 8 points. We got a we got a Miami Heat fan on the call right now. You wouldn't know it. I'm wearing a Bulls jersey. No. <laughs> I like both teams. I mean, the Heat have been playing great this season. Yeah, seven-game win streak before they blew it against the Bulls on Friday. Yep. But back to the action. Divine. There's Kasher. Screen from Divine. Hajista Molu. Baseline, Kasher. Looked like that could have been a carry right there. Yeah, that was close. Just the Molu driving, Ooh, rejected by Tony B. House. Kicks it out, Taylor for three. Long, rebound Tony B. Push the floor. That was a great effort right there by Belonga Nayi. Here's a three from Dick. And it's short. He took a hit at the end of that. Goes down, no foul. Active Taking hands. Away. Another steal for Elter. And man, he's really the Alex Caruso of this team right now. Yeah. He's playing with a lot of heart. Hopefully he can rally the troops. Monroe, wide open three. It's good! And the Pirates retake the lead. Money. Great shot by Monroe. Great pass. Cross court pass. Ajisto Molu in a trap. Escapes. Kasher. Divine. And they leave Taylor open again on the baseline. Divine right there was just in the middle of the zone and collapsed the zone to leave an open baseline drive for, once again, Nick Taylor. Laganayi will try it. This is a two. It's way off. Oh what a play God. by Dick. Great hustle. Diving and knocking away. Peter Monroe. Dick. Lindell. Monroe just hit a three and now a whistle. I want to take it back to that play right there by Darren Dick. That was great hustle. Sprints all the way down the court. Now Devines has to sub out. He has four fouls. So Hudson Fuller will come in for him. But like I was saying, that was a great effort right there by Darren Dick. Create another possession for his team. And 
Heliopolis checks in. Monroe, slick handles, takes it himself, scores! Oh my goodness. That was nasty. Fuller. Wide Asher open. for three. Short rebound, Connor May. The big guy takes it up the court. Elter. Leopis looking for a pass. Oh, he's got May down low. Tony B was give it to Iliopoulos for three. Tony B looking to get the board, gets it back up and in. Oh, that's a pro man. It's a big man's game. No little boys allowed. Timeout, Glenbrook South, and the Pirates jump out to a three-point lead. Wild sequence of events right there. Great effort by Tony Baloney. Back to the action here, 4.53 to go. Pirates up six. Carter Monroe has had an impactful nine points. He's the second leading scorer for the Pirates. And he's getting it done. Same lineup on the floor for the Pirates. Nick Taylor has not sat for the Titans yet. Fuller. Produced him all loot. There's Fuller again. May is guarding Taylor right now. And that's a kick ball off of Elter. Restart the kick ball counter from last year. <laughs> it looked like he just threw it at his foot right there. What did we get up to? Nine on PTV streams last year from Tommy Elter? Oh my goodness. Luke's going to like that one. I think it was something like that. I just throw for three. Rims out, reboard Monroe. <laughs> Elter sits. No, I mean, he goes for the inbound. My bad. I'm just checking our rosters for a second. Connor May. Tony B. May. Elter. May's calling for it. He gets it back. Monroe. Balaganayi. Monroe. Oh, it was loose. Still loose. And now Casher has it. And, oh, it's out on Palatine. Tommy Elter's in disbelief. So are we up here. That looked like it knocked off of a GBS player. Leopolis comes off, and now Casey May checks in. Three minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the fourth. And defensively, Palatine, we know who they're going to go to. Hubbard. This was off the ref, and it stays. 
He threw oh it right goodness. off the ref. Oh my goodness. He just, that was not deflected. Not at all. I don't know about that one. What kind of a call is that? That's two in a row now. To the three. Look at that. Three-pointer gifted by the refs. That's just unacceptable. Yeah. I mean. Casher hits the three. That's a tie game. A couple of three-pointers for the Titans off of questionable calls. I like to see Tony work his way down to the paint. Stolen. Oh, this one goodness. stolen back. Tommy Elter got his hand in there again. Valentine needs to slow it down. May doesn't want to. Takes it himself. And one! Three the hard way. Connor May is going to do it himself. What a response. And Taylor now has two fouls. It's going to be Connor's May 16th point of the game. Knocks it down. Makes that 17. And Paltine will take a timeout. 228 left. Now from Palatine, I'd like to see out of this timeout on the next possession to work the post. Early on in the early going, they had four four points for Tony Belong and IE just by working the post. So I'm curious to I'm curious to see if they go back to that. Yeah, I mean this has been a much better performance. Best quarter the Pirates have put together so far. In crunch time, and they've hopped out to two three-point leads so far, but and defensively. Tight. Titans have been a good team so far coming back. Christian. Defensively, Taylor is their man that they have to guard up on. So put your best defender out there on the court. from the timeout here. J.P. Hubbard will inbound for Glenbrook South. Molu, Hubbard. Tight defense by Tommy Elzer. Hubbard, Hajistamolu. If Palatine can just keep it on the edge here. Casher, long three, is short. And underneath the basket, there's a foul. Looks like they're going to get over the back foul on Casey, Casey May. May. Yeah. It's the right call. Approaching five seconds, gets into Benedict. Here's Kasher. Good eyes right there by Connor May. They had a wide open backdoor cut if he was not paying attention. 140, 146 now. Must score possession here for the Titans. Hajistamolu runs into a wall. Hubbard. Hajistamolu lost it, but gets it back. May is on him, and a foul. That's not the worst thing in the world, though. That possession right there just uh, killed 27 seconds on the game. 133 remaining. So GBS has to get a quick bucket. Kasher thought about the three. Hajistamolu driving. And another foul. He's going to be at the free throw line for this one. So it looks like GBM's going to have some players down at the free throw line right now. I'm not sure what that was about then in the early going. Yeah. Well, gonna he now has four fouls. Three point game. And Jason Malu knocks down the first one. It's both. One point game, 123 to go. The Pirates can hold it the rest of the way. 
They can get it past halfway. They have to get it through. There we go. Oh no. Taylor takes it himself, blocking foul. Oh no, that's, that's a disaster. Worst thing comes the worst, call a timeout and reset. You do not want to force an ugly pass like that to lead to a turnover and now a chance at two more points and to take the lead. That's Monroe's third. First free throw gets the bounce and it's a tie game. Taylor right now has been phenomenal for the Titans. Looking for his 26th point of the game. And he's got it. That's two free throws on back-to-back -back trips for the Titans and they've taken the lead. And, I, and a foul. Again Reaching. though, bad decision. Don't force anything. Take it up, trust in your own abilities, take it up court, and just settle down. We have a minute left in the game. No need to force anything. It's gonna ruin the outcome of the game. It looks like Divine. Divine's checking in for Hubbard. Here's Monroe, Palatine needing a bucket. Laganayi. Monroe, Helter, he's got a good match if he wants it. Mays calling for the ball. Helter, and another foul. Oh boy, for a second I thought they called a travel. Palatine's one away from the bonus. You can get it into May, and now they have to go all the way long to Monroe. 35 seconds. Nothing major. Gotta Plenty of time. Got to get a good look, though. May driving himself. And, and he's fouled. fouled. It's on Taylor, his third. And he's arguing that he was vertical and did not touch him. Nonetheless, two free throws for Connor May, and these are crucial. 19 seconds left. Correction, that's his fourth foul on Taylor. He's one away from fouling away, fouling out. It's a timeout. For Glenbrook South. Connor May usually hits both of his free throws, but I mean, in crunch time here, we gotta hope that he's able to knock down both here for Palatine. Absolutely. Connor May has been huge in this game with 17 points. And he's really just been everywhere. He's been great defensively and even better offensively. And like you said, these two free throws are not free, but certainly needed. And going the other way here, Palatine needs to make sure they do not lose track of Nick Taylor. How many times has he gotten a pass down and the I, baseline? I'm sure that's what they're discussing in the huddle. If there's one guy you keep your eye on, it's Nick Taylor. Yeah. And it looks like the Titans are going to go a little bit bigger right now, which makes sense in case needed for a box out and a rebound. Yeah, well, they have to get the rebound here. Yep. One of two for Connor May. Ties the game. Huge free throw. It's his 18th. Doesn't get the foul. And he got the Elter. rebound. Rebound tie game. May misses again. Casey, corner. Monroe for three. 
Rebound Connor hold on. May. Hold on. Five seconds. Palatine takes timeout. Oh my goodness, Emmett. I mean, do you believe what we just saw? That was insane. Misses the game, leading free throw, and they get the rebound. Misses the shot, it gets the rebound again. Well, if there's anything that is good that comes out of this, the only team that's gonna touch the ball here should be Palatine. Correct. So get a chance to five get your seconds. shot. Yeah, five seconds. You know, that's, that's, a, that's a decent amount of time to get a good look set up. And obviously, we know who this is going to. Well, Connor May. Yeah. And I'm curious to see if they try to get him inside. Slip him underneath the defense. Now, if I'm Coach Millstone, I might want to consider maybe some subs. It doesn't look like they're going to do that, but you want your best three-point shooters here on the court yep. as well because I can imagine they're going to be doubling Connor May. If that happens, kick out and trust in your teammates, you know? Darren Dick is on the court. He's preparing to sub in. We can't quite tell. It's like Carter Monroe, Casey May, Tony V, Connor, and Tommy Elter. Me and Christian Courtney are now standing. Everybody on their feet. Five seconds. Here we go. Tommy Elter with the inbound. We got a time. They're going to call timeout. Did not get the look they wanted. And it seemed that they were trying to get either Monroe getting, open or I saw May slip backside for a second. It's getting really close here. Yep. I mean, I said that Palatine should be the only team that gets the ball. You need to make sure the only team that gets the Props ball. Props to... The Titans right there, great defense on the inbound. Forcing Palatine to take a timeout and rethink. Now Coach Millstone back to the drawing board. If I'm him, I'm thinking, what's the easiest way I can get the ball inbounds? Because five seconds is enough time to dribble and find a shot. It's and also even a pass. Time, yeah. But you have to be careful because it's also enough time to get a steal and take it all the way to exactly. the other end. In a dangerous pass, cross court, you got a lot of guys cutting, anything can happen. Worst thing that happens, they miss the shot, go to OT. Well, that's the worst thing, worst, best thing that can happen. Worst, best thing, yes. Yeah, because, I mean, if the ball falls in the hands of number four, I'm worried. <laughs> just make sure you cleanly inbound the ball. And just get a shot off. So let's try it again. Here we go. Same lineup for both, time, both C teams. Elter inbounds again. Let's see what we see here from the Pirates. Right in immediately away. to Connor May. Three seconds. May at the buzzer. Doesn't oh. get the roll. He was right there, and we're going overtime. Could you imagine if that goes in? This whole place is erupted. And that was a great look right there. It's going to be the first overtime broadcast for PTV. It's overtime for the first time for Palatine in their first game. Four minutes in another over, another period, which is overtime here. Connor May leading the scoring for Palatine with 18 points, and Nick Taylor with 26 for GBS. This game has lived up to the hype. Two 25-plus win teams, and we've seen it all so far. Palatine gets the tip. Monroe will take it up the court.
Casey May. Tony V. Monroe driving, takes it himself, and the Pirates are on top. With the left. That's a tough move right there. Getting to the basket as a 5'10 junior, very impressive so far. And he has 11 on the night. Kicks it out. Hasher, long three. It's good. Titans retake the lead. Meltzer kicks it out. Casey May for three. It's good. He's got it. Palatine answers. Straight back-to-back -back threes right there. That was a great look for Casey May. Way to knock it down, because they've got several of those today. Having Taylor, Terry May. And foul, foul, foul. 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 Oh, I was to hear that. I think we're back. Here's a three for May. Off the glass! He's got it once again. Two clutch triples for May and the younger May. Three point lead for the Pirates. And a foul on Connor May. Those are two huge shots right there for Casey. Now Palatine leads 48 to 45. And Connor is one away from fouling out. Yeah, he's got to be careful because they need him down the stretch. But back to no people on the free throws. Hatch just hits the first. We'll never understand it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we really don't have any idea why they would do this. Yeah, they don't have the luxury of missing out on opportunities to get some points. One point game. Casey May, who's just hit two threes. Elter drives himself and gets it in. What a move. Oh, my goodness. Can I get some toast with that jelly? Samola will try a three. It's good, and another tie game. Tommy Elter was heavily face guarding him, and he just drained it. Altine needs to answer. Minute 20 left in the game. There's Connor May. Monroe. Loses the handle, and it's over and back. Backcourt violation. Palton thinks there's a tip. Coach Millstone is pleading his case to the rest right now, and they're going to get together and talk it over. And the call's not going to change. It's going to stay tight in the ball. Palton has not gotten any calls. Fuller. Pasher back to Fuller. They're trying to get it to Taylor in the paint. They do. He splits the double with that pass. Fuller. 40 seconds. 
Now, I'm curious, it looks like they're gonna hold for the last shot. Yeah. With 30 seconds on the clock left. And the crowd is getting into it. Kasher, 25 seconds, Kasher. Floater is good. 20 seconds, Pirates need to go fast. Monroe, think about a timeout here. Here's May, Casey May, 10 seconds. Connor May. And call a foul. A foul. So this will give them four seconds to inbound the ball and get no, a shot off. He's going to the line. Excuse me. And a bonus. Two huge shots for Connor May. Two shots. Need both of these. And timeout. Essentially to try and ice Connor May here. Connor May on that last possession. He just went down the court and said he's going to do it himself. He took the ball to three defenders and drew the foul. Leading to an opportunity to tie the game. And that's huge. That's what you do as a leader of the team. Here we go. What do you think Hundrick South is talking about in this huddle here? Probably the same as if it was vice versa. I mean, they Palatine has a clear star player today in Connor May, and they're going to potentially double him, but make sure that he's heavily guarded. Well, so Palatine might need to look for another option. I mean, you have Tommy Elter, who's a senior, and he's a great player. You have Monroe, who's been lighting it up today with 11 points, and many others. Well, if Connor doesn't hit both of these free throws, I definitely know Coach Millstone is telling them to foul. If they don't get the rebound, if that's the second shot that's missed. There you go, clutch time for Connor May. It is silent here. Rattles out. So now you gotta you can think hope about for that you can you think hit about the back miss. rim, yeah. yeah. Or maybe chuck it at the front. This is the second tip, Casher, and there's gonna be a foul with two seconds. Tough break right there. I don't know, he has been virtually perfect on the day. And the uh, first free throw barely rims out. Here's an interesting strategy here. Kasher, if he makes the first one, could consider missing, and then Palatine's gonna have to shoot an 80-footer. And I think that's what their coach is gonna talk about. Yep. And that's a... Luke Jordan has arrived. He's panting, I don't know, did he run upstairs? Always seems when he shows up, we allow a, bu a bucket at the end of the game, huh? Why is he here? <laughs> Luke Jordan, you want to say what's up to the people? Want to say what's up to the people? What's up, guys? Luke Jordan here. Yeah, I know. Go Pirates, baby. I just got here. I don't know what's going on here, but Luke Jordan is back and he needs to make his presence felt. Right, so they are probably gonna think about missing this one on yeah. purpose to chuck up the 80 fur, like Emmett mentioned earlier. And I think Coach Millstone's just realizing that. Yeah, I mean it's another timeout. I don't I mean there's really not much to discuss here. He doesn't even have his Darn board, he's just gonna, gonna explain what they need to do here. I mean, if you're the Pirates and you get the rebound here, you could consider calling timeout. I know the, we're not gonna have as good of a clock operator as the NBA, so 
Realistically, you'll have about a second after a rebound. That's very true. That might be what is being told. An instant timeout as soon as you get your hands on the ball. But also, Quanbrook South can just make this and yeah. virtually put this and then it's over. rest. So let's we'll see how it plays out right here. Cash it for the win. It's good. So now they have to hope to get fouled on this three-point play. Meltzer will throw a baseball pass, and it sails out of bounds. Yep, he showed off his quarterback arm with that one. Nick Taylor, 28 points. He's been the player of the game. Yes, he has. They really have had no answer for him all game. He's kind of made to flex that out of bounds. 1.3. Just to stretch out the inevitable. But you have to give uh, credit to Palatine. They're still playing until the last whistle. They get it in and a foul with point two. And that's going to set him to the cherry strike. On our scoreboard, we can't really show point two, so. Just know there's 0.2 seconds left. We'll just show it as two seconds on the clock here. Sam Portera is at work. And that looks like it's going to end it. And that buzzer sounds. Competitive game goes to overtime, and the Pirates fall just short. Final score, 56 to 50 in favor of the Glenbrook South Titans. And it really was an amazing game. Back and forth, back and forth. I really would have loved Palatine to go back into the paint to Tony and see if he could set something up because he was there early on. But great game played from both sides. And just looking to bounce back next week. Yeah, it's a tough one. I mean, twice we really saw the Pirates had chances to take the lead. At the, at the end of the fourth quarter, Carter Monroe had a wide open three with five seconds left. The gym would have exploded if that one had went in. But, but you got to remember, this team is young. They yeah. still have time to develop. And I think this is a good starting point, honestly, for the Pirates. I mean, a lot of, there's not a lot of confidence among students and some of the players today. And they showed out. and They proved them wrong. Yeah. Casey May hit two clutch threes in, like, the last minute of the game. Monroe had, I think, 11 points in. Uh, and Good how, how big was Nick Taylor for Glenbrook South? 28 points out of the 56. He scored half their points. And big time players make big time plays. Made a lot of them today. Well, we're going to sign it off here from the Palatine High School Gymnasium. We will be back on Friday. Palatine versus York. Christian Courtney. And Bear Landerman will make his debut on the mic. So, see you then. Signing off, PTV.